Okay. Let me throw it on. <coughs> is he is 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 Kyle with us? Up, oh, he is moving. Hey, everybody! Welcome to Between <laughs> the Rolls. This is no, this is not Between the Rolls. Oh my God! This is. Uh, oh, oh gosh, what's the name of the general? It's thing? Cred, man. It's Murder Cred. Hobo Inc. This is Cred, that show where on Thursdays I say something silly and then I get made to look like a fool and everyone talks about it and I kick myself in the behind, but then I just forget about it and make a complete fool of myself once again. I'm totally prepared tonight, aren't you guys? Yeah, sure. Are you? Are you prepared? Nope. Are you really I'm trying prepared? to catch up on other people's problems that they did not do. I did it. Sure. I did my homework. <laughs> hey, I got it to you just before game. One minute before game. Thanks. That's You didn't specify a, a, a turn in time. No, you didn't. Uh, so. I missed Jacob already. <laughs> I am, uh, I am, I am successful. Oh, brother. All right, guys, as I said before, this is cred. Uh, before we go ahead and get started, the whole spiel of the situation, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to talk about some really awesome things, you can join us over on the Discord channel. Uh, I went out and I forgot what I was going to say next. Uh, if you want to buy some really cool, awesome swag, click on one of the links below. It'll take you to our store over at Threadless, not Threadbare, because uh, these wonderful clothes are certainly not that. And I'm actually very sad that I'm not wearing my sweatshirt right now with my Cred logo. Why aren't you? You awesome. never friggin' wear it. I do all the time on Fridays, not on the show, Fridays. <laughs> it's, it's over there. I can't get it from here. <laughs> Um, if you don't want to look at our beautiful faces, you can also follow another link below that will take you to Podbean. <coughs> you can listen to our podcast and completely miss out on all the visual jokes, like uh, Carol pretending she was trapped in a see-through box, like a oh, lame that'd be mime. This. I'm not yeah, good no, at this. See, thing. she's a terrible mime, obviously. Um followed by that we'd like to thank our sponsors pirate dog dice uh for run your rolling as bad as these guys uh <laughs> order more pirate dog dice for them so they continue to roll bad what uh, what usually they roll pretty well in the last campaign they they really do and that's that's why i got to make sure that you guys never, never get, get them. them i have a hold order from carrie uh which is why if you've tried to get some dice from carrie uh, you will never see them until this campaign is over. Oh, we'll see if yeah. that's that. <laughs> I know. Now that I said that, she's going to spite me. Just <laughs> like I said it. Uh, finally, we'd also like to thank uh, Adventure Sense. Does your game stink? It should if it doesn't. Not like deodorant or really smelly, smelly old guy who hasn't taken a shower in several years. But yeah. wonderful wonderful smells like uh the inn old libraries uh maybe the road or putrid sewers um stay in touch because they're also going to come out with a carol's a uh, choleric uh, fence post <laughs> as Christ. part of their stretch goal from one of their other things how to rpg with your cat which was funded but hey you know check it out maybe you can be like a late minute uh funder because that's always fun and wonderful to do uh, finally, they also have a Shine project. This is a helpful writing tool for if you're trying to make up a story of your own. It asks a lot of questions you didn't think about. It does pertain to D&D, but keep an eye out in the future as they are writing a Shine specifically for being a game master. I'm looking into it. Uh, I plan on being uh, uh, having my sugar daddy buy it for me. Uh, sugar do, daddy? Frank. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, I think that is just about it. So, uh, introductions. I'm Kyle. I am the GM tonight. I am the one doing these terrible, awful things to people. Uh, in the order that they are going to introduce to themselves, because I need to grab my glass of water because I'm running out of my talking voice, we have 
DJ as Bran. We have Carol as Anja. We have Ernie as Riley. Bran, you start. Carol, Ernie. I'll be right back, folks. Hello. I am Bran. The monk uh, way of mercy. Uh, the Kind of like a plague doctor. And, well, trying to keep these fools alive. It's difficult. Thanks. <laughs> that goes without saying. Hi, everyone. My name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter with her own mini painting stream on Twitch under muses underscore touch. Uh, I'll next be on Saturday at 12.30 Eastern. And I, in this campaign, I play Anja Jaeger, my half-elven ranger, who is uh, totally screwed at this point. So we'll have to see how this works out. To you, Riley or Ernie, or both. Yeah, so my name's uh, Ernest and I'm playing Riley, the half-elf warlock. And uh, I think we ended it up last time with everyone getting a rest except Anja. So I'm yeah. ready to... To continue on from that, that's technically she did get a rest. No, like, no, everyone but, got no, a no, long no. rest except Anja. No, 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 that's not no. You technically get a long rest, but you don't get the hit points from it. But I and do you get a level of exhaustion, right? But I also, but I do get my abilities back. Importantly, abilities and spells come back. It's just uh, I'm getting points of exhaustion because of this disease. Slowly wearing her out herself out. See her plague. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's wearing it. I am so happy right now. I, I had the love time it. to dig it out. I love oh, it. It's just been freshly washed. I'm <sighs> touching myself in weird ways. Rubbing Cthulhu the way freshly he washed likes. an old man scent. I am. Oh so, yeah. My 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 I'm my oh, intention is to get a. Uh, I want a tank top version of that. So. That's my intention, at least at some point, to pick that I up. I have a tank top version of it, and I look great, but it's too cold for that. I feel yeah, like exactly. we should have a uh, Hawaiian shirt version. <gasps> oh, but they don't They don't think they make those. That would be awesome. Sell them, too. <laughs> could figure a way to print the decals, you know, an iron them on the back of a Hawaiian shirt. Anyways, we digress. But only, <laughs> only Ooh, slightly. We need a coconut cup with it. <laughs> that would be fun all right uh i am sure you guys talked a little bit about what happened last time uh, no not to... really oh not really okay awesome no. we uh, talked about ourselves are you done carol you yes. done interrupting me fine <laughs> want to know gave you an answer you done again carol my turn now <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys had uh, finally escaped through the maze of the ooze uh, dead man with strange connections uh, uh, to certain patrons. I won't name any names. <laughs> um, and after that, you continued on your way down the trail. Uh, you discovered um, a room where large gas were uh, feasting and sporting um, but they Ugh. were fast asleep and you guys chose to instead of murdering two perfectly innocent monsters who all just want to do the same thing as everything else eat poop and have sex with each other uh, and you left them to their own devices which was I thought quite lovely of you uh, and continued on your way where you encountered a, a trash room a waste room Strangely, there was nothing there with tentacles trying to pull you under the water, but you did find some interesting items, a shredded dress of one of the scaries, uh, pr probably the one who actually wears dresses, Grezja, uh, but I don't know what goes on in their home life. Uh, I'm one of those DMs who likes to be surprised. Uh, Anja actually informed me earlier with her dice roll that it is actually... Uh, uh, the husband who likes to wear the dresses, strangely. What? What? That's what those dice rolls were. For. Yeah, I was just seeing who I was wearing. Don't... Who wears the pants in that relationship? I'm not buying that. So, 
uh, as well as finding a strange, interesting, horrifying looking bag uh, uh, with a scaly looking ball inside of it. Uh, you continued on your way after interrupting and covering yourself in some gross mold or fungus or something like that, uh, spreading it to everyone else. And you continue on your way where you found a secret wall that when you dug through it led to a wonderful room where you were able to finally get some rest and respite. However, upon awakening, we find out that some people were terribly awfully infected and were being forced to bleed out and have open wounds for a couple of days, which, oh yeah, gosh, you better watch out where you go from here. You might infect that if you're not careful. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm concerned. You should be. Uh, and I believe some sure. other players also failed their saving throw while they were uh, in that room. I, I what? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you mean that would be a brand? What? What? No oh, brand. <laughs> oh, keep in mind, Riley, you also bathed in it while covered in your fungal spores. So uh, you'll find out, won't you? He Not my problem. The water. What the hell did you try? You no, turned no. the water green, right? No. With no. red, Shut purple. Up. Remember, purple. I know it was purple. purple. He said green. <laughs> yeah, because the opposite somehow, of purple is somehow, somehow he somehow red. Yes, and blue you highly green. offended the color lady. <laughs> red and red and blue make green in Kyle's world. All right. Well, with that reminder and the fact that I have just finished a session with I'm my good. other D and D group where they completely wiped out my big bad boss in less than a round oh. i am now going to take oh, that frustration out on you guys well we, we assure you with our dice rolls that won't happen yeah that's true it will not It'll never freaking happen okay so we come back after your rest you've treated uh the wounds quite as best as you can in this place which is actually fairly well um Anja is sick. Uh Merrick is still kind of dozing off at the moment. Uh for those who uh are listening, uh Jacob, Merrick, our halfling cartographer, is not here today um due to amazing, wonderful reasons. Oh, um, I hope so. I don't have to uh see him tonight and those are the reasons and it's a it's a wonderful being um we appreciate him for that uh <laughs> merrick is uh still dozing off in his cot um but the rest of you are awake i assume getting camp uh put back together uh in this room you still have the hole behind you which you kind of camouflaged a little bit I believe Merrick did that to make sure that you might, weren't going to be interrupted. But you do notice on the opposite wall, there is more of this soft dirt, this loamy earth that it looks like you could dig through and you might end up somewhere else. What would you like to do? Do you think it's a shortcut? Rand will go over and inspect the earth. Uh, see if there's anything that um, sticks out, I guess. Um, shows any evidence of anybody coming through recently. No signs that you see of that, although uh, the earth... So when you discovered this secret path, you had like this wall of dry dirt that kind of uh, blended in with the stone and it was kind of hard. As you continued to dig through it, it was soft uh, uh, and slightly damp. This is kind of meh, what you might assume would be the reverse, depending on what's on the other side of the wall. I will look, uh, Brandon will look back at the others and say, there does seem to be another passage through here. Do we all want to take it, or do we want to go back the way we came and continue on? It's tough. 
because I mean, we were tracking, we're tracking the trail. I mean, I suppose we could, maybe we could dig through here and see if the trail's on the other side, if it's a shortcut. If we don't see a trail there, then I guess we could try to pick back up the trail where, where we left it off. Does that sound like an idea? To clarify for you guys, when you left the garbage room, there were two paths. The one that the trail went ended up being a collapsed tunnel. So you were kind of forced to go this way or go back around and deal with some uh, very angry gas who had been trapped in their own room. Oh, so basically, we kind of need to take this way to progress further. You could continue back into the tunnel you went and go continue to go up. You kind of stopped at the secret room. The tunnel continued going a little bit further. Whether it dead ends, you don't know. Um, yeah, so you do it's... have kind of two options. Dig your way through, find out what's on the other side, or go back the way you came and then continue going up the tunnel from there. What do you say? How about Riley? What do you say? Um, Get all options. Yeah, I I uh, say it one way is as good as the other. So let's just go through this wall because it seems more interesting. We can go through the wall. If there's no trail on the other side, then we're going to have to come back this way. But and I don't think anything's come through here. I mean, it seems like this place has been walled up for a while. So. All right. Let's dig uh, through Brad it. will Shame. work through it. I'm going to help as best I can. I actually tell her not to. I tell her to conserve her strength. I look at Anja's like, Anja, allow me to do this. You are not doing as well as I would hope. She, you can tell she's disappointed and conserve your strength. You very well may need it soon, anyways. That's fair. Um, I'll go sit right there. Yeah, Riley smacks her on the back. Go rest. Oh, I'm joking. What the hell was that? I, I, right, Riley didn't do that. Riley has no Riley idea about doesn't, your back. Oh, maybe he does know now. I mean, if he, I guess if she got treated in the morning, maybe he probably he might have seen it. I, I think that, that was, otherwise you wouldn't know. Yeah, I don't know. That was the joke. Riley didn't actually do that. <laughs> you can't. I, can't. I would actually probably tell Anja. Uh, I, I tell Anja, actually, while you're while we're doing this, go clean your wound and be oh. the downflow. <laughs> we need to keep it clean. Yeah. All right. Fine. I'll go do that. And I stumble back down to the to the water. I do say, do not go in the water. We don't know if there's any remnants of whatever that dust was that got in it. <laughs> well, you know, I do hate to say this, but I was already in there after the dust was in there. I got better, though. I felt my mind was settled when I wandered into that waterfall. To a degree. I feel better. In some ways, I feel better than I did when I came in there. But, you know, I mean, there's obviously ways I feel worse. All right, well, go dig, go dig. I'll, I'll go deal with this. And do you have new Great. bandages, by the way? Did you bring enough? Uh, uh yeah, I can. Um, are you doing hit points at all? Uh, technically, no. All right, then I'll just Te give some new bandages, but not expend the healer's kit work. Okay, yeah, no. Technically, technically, I will not see my full hit points until this is dealt with. But I'm not down from that at all. So I'm at full. Okay. All right. Meets. I will dig. You dig. And after a few minutes there, uh, you do come to this hard, um, hardened dirt a little bit. I assume you being a little bit cautious, take the time to listen and You don't hear any immediate sounds. Uh, 
I will continue to progress. Okay. Unless I do hear something a little bit more. Hmm. Are we all ready to go? Or are you going by yourself? We will see once I break through. Oh, oh, okay. You're not broken through yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you're doing this, Merrick uh, uh, is still actually still sleeping. Um, and if you try and get him roused up and ready to go, you can do that. Yeah. Ran, you break through. Anja, give me an insight check. Brand, you break through, you come into a room which is pitch black because you don't have much light to look on. Well, at least this but, disadvantage wasn't terrible, uh, terribly different. Uh, not great. Insight four mm-hmm. plus eight is 12. Yeah, not great. he's groggy, looks like he's just having a little difficult time waking up, must still be tired from, oh, no. from the other day. He doesn't feel sick or anything, right? Yeah, if you ask him, he's well. I'll put my hand. Pauses to answer you a little bit. Yeah, you know, again, I looks put like my, need some morning coffee. I put my. I just just give while he's still waiting. I put my hand on his forehead. He doesn't feel warm or anything. No warmer than than what normal. You expect okay. He simply has disadvantage until he has coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't he's we an don't, alcoholic, well, and you just see he opens up a flask, take a drink, and he's right as rain. I don't, I don't drink coffee, but I would say most people are, are at disadvantage before they have their morning coffee. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So you break through, you break out the hood lantern, you take a look through, and you've reached this uh, uh, intersection in the tunnels. You're kind of in a little alcove, but it goes out in three directions that you can tell. Um, the ways are um, worked a little bit trodden, if you kind of take a look at it. Um, yeah, and it looks like you found another way out. I will inform everyone of this way out and I will step through and look both ways with the hooded lantern. I will also specifically look at the ground as well. Sure. Uh, go ahead and give me a survival check. Let me see. I'm pulling up Merrick here. See if he can actually. Ooh, nat 20 for 25. Ooh. Very nice. Uh, you sign tracks of drag marks uh, uh, and uh, drag marks, ghoul claws. They tend to dig into the earth a little bit easier and they are heading in the center um, kind of in a southeast way um, that Merrick can tell you it's uh, southeasterly. Uh, and you can tell by the way it came. It came in through one way and is going up another. So you might presume, based on the fresh drag marks, that this is the same trail that you guys have been following. Okay. I will Beans. inform everyone of that, and I will begin to head that way. Okay. Are you uh, in the lead now these days? Riley could go in the lead. I mean, I'm probably not. Yeah, I'll go in the this. lead. Yeah, no, we saw what happened last time with that. Oh, come on. Oh, God damn it, you're uh, right. I will <laughs> go in the lead, though. I I need a light, sadly. Uh, well, you have your put a lantern. Yes, I know. I'm just Which actually, I well, that, oh, uh, that kind of hmm, works. Did we make a fire last night? I would assume we did. I don't remember us specifically saying that. Why do you ask? Was the was the room illuminated in any fashion? Yes. Aside from okay, it was growing. Okay, good. Blue. Okay. I just wanted to know how much light I I probably have left in my lantern. Yeah, yeah. You probably have whatever you had since you got there. 
Uh, how many uh, uh, oils do you have? Flasks of oil for your lantern, including your lantern itself. Uh, looks like I have five remaining, which is how many else? Wait, that's the oil. I need the lantern to find that out. <laughs> I'm assuming your lantern is going to Oh, six hours possibly. per pint, so I got plenty. Oh, I got okay. days worth. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, almost days be. worth. We need to do this. We need to try to find them today. Okay. Yeah, so you have plenty of light there. So, Bran, you're taking the lead with your hooded lantern. Uh, who's following up behind him? I guess I will. Bloody Anja in second. Let's mark the blood and the gross That's face. That's going to be her new, uh, her new uh, character name, Bloody Anja. Oh, Bloody Anja. <laughs> she's, she's a not, PA, she, man. She's not dripping blood, is she? No, no she's not. I mean, unless you... Uh, don't bandage yourself correctly. What is that kind of a check? <laughs> Medicine? I'm not... Oh, actually, everything is a disadvantage because that's it. Oh, I did it right. I rolled a 20 and then I rolled a, like an 18. So, yeah. whoops. Let's see. That is... I don't have medicine trained, but that's a... That's, I think that's a dirty 20. You're yep. capable. It's a dirty 20. You don't screw it up or infect yourself again. Yeah. Uh, Riley, you holding up the rear after Merrick or before him? I'll go in the rear. Okay. And Riley in the back. Okay. Yeah, you start heading off that direction. Bran, um, with your hearing, you hear scuffling in the tunnels. Uh, certainly from the direction you're going to You also hear bubbling, hissing, and behind you. I will motion for everyone to stop. And I will literally do like this behind us and then this ahead of us. And I will hood my lantern. Okay. Does it sound does it sound like it's coming closer? It does not. Wait, so the, the sound's coming from both behind us and in front of us? Yes. Mm-hmm. I look back with dark vision. Sure. Uh you see the wall where uh you guys had just dug out through, and there's two other tunnels. Mm-hmm. Sound could be coming from either one Anywhere. of those. Yeah. It is a bit of an echo chamber, so you are getting potentially it could be very far away or and not right around the corner, but between a medium and a long distance. I'm gonna I'm gonna Say, Riley, I'll I'll take up the rear if you want. If we get things coming in from behind, sounds good to me. Yeah, <laughs> although you're pretty, you're respectably well armored. So, yeah, you I, are. Am, but I don't need to be in the rear if uh, no, you no, 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 no. Take the rear. If I, if I, yeah, no. If if it pointed out something might be coming from behind, then I'm gonna I'll go back there. All right, uh, I will. Unfortunately, unhood the lantern and continue forward. Continue forward. After a while, you come to another crossing. You can go to the right. You can continue straight ahead. There is light coming from the direction straight ahead. Yeah, we'll go that way. I will reduce my lantern light. Hey, 
Brian, are there more tracks that lead that way? I know there's light and it makes sense. The trail does continue that way. Okay. I would like to stealth. Okay, go ahead and roll. Respectable of 21. And I will actually kind of like give a shush indication. I will like say to wait a moment. And I know. And I'll like kind of go ahead a little bit, creep ahead. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't take much longer. uh, And you turn a corner. And it opens up into this huge cavern, maybe 60 feet in length. No, 60. Oh, okay. About 100 feet in length. Um, 30, 40 feet width. There is a way if you continue left that leads out of this room. The light sources are two torches on sconces that lead into this uh, large wooden doors, both of which are currently closed. Uh, Make a perception check for me. Just him? 16. Just him. Yeah. You still kind of hear this tinking sound, but there's also a, a buzzing sound. Oh, and uh, probably the most important feature before I uh, forget to mention it, the floor is littered with bones. You look across, there has to be thousands of people. Uh, the floor is littered up to your hip. In oh my places. Freaking God. Like skeletons. a mound, or like it's just like I'd be wading in. You would be wading into bones. Oh, and that's uh, fine. go ahead and give me a uh, sanity uh, save, please. Dread roll. Because this is a lot of freaking bones. No blood, though, Seven. right? Seven total. Seven. Seven. Oh, no. At a level of dread. Shit. Where are you at now? Uh, I think I was actually down to one. Ah, yeah, I was down to one, so now I'm at two. So. Yeah, the room helped. <laughs> um. Damn it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just just to be prepared. This is bones, not blood, right? Bones. Okay. So mm-hmm. probably won't trigger. Yeah, bones. Each and every one of them has been picked clean. Not I an will... ounce of flesh, not an ounce of hair. I will stare at the bones for a little bit, like probably a good minute. And I want to see if there's any tip moving or if I can identify where that buzzing is coming from. Uh, The buzzing sound seems to be coming from in the room. It's not necessarily above. It seems to be in the bones. And every once in a while, if you if you really take your time and you're just watching every once in a while, a bone will move. As if something underneath is moving (laughs) wow so you said there's one wooden door with sconces Mm -hmm. one wooden door sconces around the arch of the room itself bones are kind of laid out in that um is it in france where they use the skeletons yes yeah i think yeah the catacombs underneath so this area, this cavern, as it were, mm-hmm. does this look natural or does this look more 
produced. Where, Clearly somebody has worked something here. There is, yeah, some work. And on that wall, there is work, obviously. Um, the rest of the room, here and there, there's certainly uh, marks of, of claws digging. A lot of the roof, though, is natural. You might assume this is just a part of the cave that gets used to discard bones. Yeah. Um, or makes a very, very intimidating entryway. I will head back to the group. And then when I get there, I will kind of motion them to gather around. Yeah. There's a room. This room has evidence of workmanship. There's a door. In the room, though, a very, very, very large pile of bones. It's clearly a desecration to my queen. I believe something is in there underneath the bones. Under? Yes. Oh, boy. I do have a thought, though. This is not going to be pleasant, and I look at Anja. Please lift your shirt for a moment. Okay. Um, she's got I, I armor on and everything, yeah, too. I, I, I motion to the wound. Uh, I, it's on her back, so basically she'll turn around and you can try I will her. take some cloth. Um, and I apologize. Did I say one uh, level of dread? That is actually two levels of dread. Oh, jeez. So now you're at three. Thanks. Yeah, I apologize. I, sure. <laughs> I was, sure. and I was like, insane. I'm pretty sure it's. Oh no! Yeah, here we go. <laughs> insanity. Go insane. I see. Insanities yeah. are just little things. So, to uh, with. yeah. <laughs> no. I will. Thousands upon thousands of creatures oh have God. been eaten. So that is I think so that's awful. two levels of dread, not one. I will actually dab the cloth on her open wound, soaking up ah. some blood. Jeez, what are you doing? Just mm-hmm. bear with it for a moment. Uh, and then remove it. Kind of bundle it up so it can be <sighs> tossed. And then I will say, I'm hoping this might draw out whatever's in there. Well, With I that, mean, we may be able to attack it from afar. I mean, I feel like I'm bait then. I mean, I know you just... This is why I want you to throw this into my... the room. All right, that's fair. So Riley, that's you are best bet at, at hurting this thing greatly from afar. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know what might be in there. Hopefully, it's something we can hurt. Let's I go. look at Merrick and see how he's doing. Yeah, does he seem fine? Oh, yeah. He, he he's, ready? Every once in a while, he's kind of just shaking his head. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I don't know he how like Merrick a, does his voice. Yeah, does he have like a crossbow or something? Uh, that is a question, and if he doesn't, he doesn't. I actually have one. Yeah, because he could it, it potentially get sneak it. attack on it from afar, which would be awesome. I mean, if he doesn't, I mean... I could, I have a hand crossbow I could pass to him. Well, you need your hand crossbow. I know. <laughs> if he doesn't, he doesn't. That's fine. But the reality is... He Actually, might... I can give him a dart. Oh, that's true. It's basically, gonna... it looks like a scalpel. Nice. Yes, I throw scalpels. Nice. There... Those are my darts. My, my question is, why are we trying to kill this thing that's under the bones? I mean, we left the other guests alive. This thing will be a danger if we need to cross through. It's we'll awake. have to wade through the bones. It's awake. I would rather be able to see it and attack it now rather than it come get us while we're waiting through. There's, There's a... no way we are going to get past it without it noticing us. I mean, we could try. 
not with the bones. We'll be moving them around. We're going to find out. Hanja, I wonder. <laughs> if, or, if, Carol, I wonder if you're going to get to level five dread when you <laughs> encounter this bone room. Uh, I'm at well, I'm at two, we'll so out. it won't be from me. You're at. Uh, I'm at two. Yeah, I'm at two. He's at two. Yeah, she went down one. I can't. I, I do. I keep track in my book, you know, as to bathing in the waterfall allows I, you to lose a little bit of dread. Uh, it, yeah. I could have lost it three. all because it was a D four. I could have lost it all, and it rolled. Couldn't have one. lost it all. <laughs> yeah, I was a three before I went in the room, and then I get down to two. So I'm at two. Still not good. It's still not a good situation. If we truly want to try to pass it, that is fine. I just do not see a way we will. And I do well, not know if I the mean, store is locked or anything either. I mean, we can always try to pass it, but we should be ready. We should see what happens I, uh, when you throw that in the room. If it doesn't attack it, let's just go and see what happens. My biggest but concern I, is if this thing attacks us. It will drag us under and we will not be able to spot it. All right. Let's do Let's it. Try then. I, I will pull my crossbow out. Let us uh, proceed quietly up there first. Roll it's going to be funny. All my skills are disadvantage. Uh, only a 13 for me. Well, I rolled a 13 as my low number, so 13 plus 4 is 17. Mm -hmm. Riley? Which is reasonably good. Uh, nine. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm in the rear, me. remember? I'm the last one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. now we're going to rearrange it so yeah, you are. Because <laughs> nothing's coming up behind us yet. When I get close enough that I think I can toss this towards at least like mm, the middle of the room. I'll wrap like um, a rock inside the cloth so I can actually get some heft to it. Sure. <laughs> and then, you know, trying to not be at the edge of the bones. I have no idea what's in there and what's going to pop out. What the Probably hell, Probably some type Kyle? of bone worm or something like that. Oh, no, no. You're fine. Yeah, yeah sure. Big I heavy just... stone or like a nice pebble to make sure you can get some distance. Yeah, a, a decent sized pebble, like a skipping stone's worth. Okay. Nothing, nothing huge. No boulders. <laughs> when I look like, when I feel like I've gotten close enough, I will then toss it roughly to the center of the room. Okay. Uh, you do that, Anja, Merrick, and Riley, as you gaze upon this room of bones yeah no kidding he he could not describe it well enough will that make it so that we don't thousands get two points of dread <laughs> on thousands of bones oh my god give me a dread saving roll and uh i would feel guilty if i read rolled this for merrick and i failed so let's i am have... not doing it brand why don't you roll oh, for uh merrick thanks I'm gonna fail this roll. Merrick, this is not I my fault if all. I roll if I roll badly. Huh? I failed. Okay. I rolled an I, eleven. I, I have no I, idea what his bonus is. Eleven. Oh, you're probably gonna make it. Okay. Might make it. I cannot roll. I cannot roll a dread save. Uh, Riley, what'd you roll? Ten. Two levels of dread added. <laughs> <laughs> oh, effect of one. Are you at four now? What? I don't think so. No, I'm at four because I was at two. But wait, wait. Oh, he's got something right that protects him from dread. I assume I'm at straight four. Did you roll under 12? Oh, fuck yes. I rolled a three on the die. Of course I rolled <laughs> under 12. I don't even need to go look to know that's under 12. I what are you at make... uh, uh, total there, Riley? Fuck. I am trying to figure out. I think I was previously at one acting like zero. Okay. 
You know, you have you a character. You are at three, acting like two. <laughs> All right. He's got some ability that makes it reduces the penalty, hey, which is hilarious. Which yeah, is more power to him. hilarious. Because this is what happens when you just give in. <laughs> yeah, but when you think about it, but anyway, he's the one that actually wants to go crazy. That's why he's not what going crazy, happened? though. All right, well, do I even want to know what the hell happens now? Merrick, um, you apparently have described this well enough to Merrick because he just looks like you weren't kidding. Oh, look at the colors, though. <laughs> Wait, did <laughs> and he, he seems entirely unfazed by this room of bleached bones? A little odd. I love you, uh, Merrick. I'm Anja. so awful. <laughs> Anja. Fuck you. Please roll. <laughs> no! No, I'm not saving throw. Fuck you. Uh -huh. I think I made that one, fucker. 17 plus. Oh, wait. It's not just. Wait, what do I get at this level? I'll be so mad if I have disadvantage on friggin' saving throws at four. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. well, that's if that stands, it's a 19. Okay, as her brain finally fights back. <laughs> uh, you do not gain another insanity. What is you, four levels of dread do? Uh, you are staggered, you drop all held items upon <sighs> reaching this and any higher level of dread. You can't take bonus actions or reactions. And at the start of your <coughs> turn, oh, you must make a wisdom saving throw against the dread save DC. Success reduces dread level by one. So let me tell you, as this stone with a bloody rag skips into the center of this bone room, nothing happens. That's probably good. I can't take bonus actions or freaking reactions. Yeah. You make a loud clatter as your crossbow drops to the floor. Oh, roll a d6. Roll a d6. Who? You. Does it go off? Me? Yes, you. Me personally? Mm-hmm. Well, One that, is bad. That's not... Yeah, because it'll fucking put me at five. <sighs> you just had to say that, didn't you, you asshole? Roll one. Yep. Roll a d4. Okay. But, uh, roll a d10. Wait, rule of, wait, four or ten? Or both? Roll a ten. Okay. Uh, what's a d10? It, well, apparently this is number nine. Eight. Three, four. Okay. You are lucky, and the crossbow bolt you had loaded into your crossbow, as it shoots out from you dropping it, oh, no, shit. it, it goes and hits Riley in the knee. What? Uh, and now he has to become a down guard. No, uh, it just hit the bone pile. Uh, uh, Thick. Luckily, you did not hit anyone with that. Uh, give me one more dread saving throw, please. Me? Yes, you. Oh, my God. Okay, well, same roll. Uh, 19. Okay. And She's... you drop back down to dread three for now. You're brave. She's like her breathing is raspy. Uh, I need, I need, where's my pants in here? And as all of this happens, nothing is going on. And then finally, bone shifts again. More bones in another area. Shit, what does three give you, by the way? Three is afraid. You have disadvantage on attack rolls while in this bone room. Or dead bodies or blood. Bones start to move in two separate places. And then from underneath the bone, these two Pomeranian sized flies. Crawl what out of the bones. The fuck? Flies? Start jerking around, start running across the 
skulls and rib cages inching closer to where this pussy bloody rag is and then begin to just land on top of it and start chewing it and sucking at it. Uh, I do, Brad. Yeah, I'd li- I have a dart ready. I look at everybody. You're just going to kill him? Yeah. All right. I load another bolt in my crossbow. Okay. I look at Riley. Red. Is he ready? Okay. Brand, go ahead. So I have disadvantage with the attack? You would, or- yes. If you are at three now. He's at three, right? Yep. Yep. Fuck. Oh, this is great. We gotta get the fuck out of this room. Yeah, so that's an eight total. Eight total? That is a miss. Yep. Riley? Uh, Let's see. Eldridge Blast, one of these things. Mm -hmm. Ah, 13 to hit. Hits. What? Yeah. The fly. All right. A large damage. fly. Uh, and it just nice. blows it up. Nice. Blows it up. Uh, Anja, what do you got? You got it, I it. guess I'll shoot it with my crayon crossbow at disadvantage. At disadvantage. Well, I don't need to roll disadvantage because I rolled a nat one to start. So I can't really get any worse than that. I'm so free. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. No, I would have probably I would have hit it. (laughs) But it was the Uh, first roll, so I missed anyway. So poink. Does Merrick have an attack? Merrick does, and he chucks this scalpel dagger at it, and it hits. Let me see. That's a D4, and he is probably at 2D6 at this point. It also adds his dex's damage. I doubt. Da- oh gosh, he rolled. <laughs> He's going to blow it up. Pins this secondary fly uh, to this blood soaked uh, rag into a rib cage, and it is dead. Nice. I put my crossbow away. I'm like, why do I bother trying to shoot anything? All right. Miss every. I'll take. I, I'll wait a few breaths to see if anything else moves. Sure. If nothing else moves, then I will slowly begin to wade my way through to the door. This feels yeah, wade good. would be an appropriate word if you were Scrooge McDuck and this was a pile of gold <laughs> coins, but it is not. No. And you have to step on top of these bones to just kind of get through them. And I assume you're headed to the uh, door. Does there appear to be any other exit? There is an exit across the bones. What's closer? Uh, The closest to you would be out of the bones, uh, away from the door. I want to check out that door. I will go to the door. We need to see what's there. Okay. I'll be behind. I'll be 10 feet behind. Sure. Roll a... Well, you know what? I'll I'll do the fun of this. Oh, Jesus. Bran. Anja. Merrick. Riley. Okay. You guys go across the bones and some of them are just brittle and they crack. Bits of dust fly out from underneath your feet. Every once in a while, Merrick stumbles across some bones. But nothing else seems to come out. Although you do notice Every once in a while, bones shift in the similar way that where these flies came out. And eventually, as you reach the door, 
another fly pops out and goes after the blood pus rag. Thank and over God. To its other flies that have been, you know, obliterated and starts crawling on those. Do I? Another. I say, thank God it's not coming after me. No, no, no. You're fine. Yeah. And more flies start to no, kind of come not. up. Uh, uh, and this maggot as white as the bone comes up in one of the instances and starts rolling around in uh, one of the putrefied flies. And you reach the doors. Does anybody else want to look at the door? I'm not particularly adept at architecture. Um, Merrick probably would be good at that. I mean, normally, I mean, I could do probably normally do too, but you know, I'm not on my game. I will check for traps, though. Okay. Uh, roll an investigation. Um, gosh, what do we have here? What are the passive perceptions of Riley and Anja? 14. Uh, passive perception is 14. <laughs> Minus five, you sick, sick creature. Uh, I got a six total. I rolled low. Does not appear to be trapped. Although the ways those eyes look down at you from the skulls that are in the frame of this. Why does it have eyes? Skulls have empty sockets. Empty sockets, <laughs> eyes, same. Difference. No, it's not. It's literally the opposite, actually. Oh my God. No, it's <laughs> Kyle. What? They're empty sockets. They don't look. They just are there. Do they? Empty. Do they? Like my soul, apparently. Sure. <laughs> Maybe it's just the dread talking. Yeah, you look again. There's, there's no, there's no eyeballs. No. Obviously, mm -hmm. skulls can't, can't, can't watch you. But if there's two holes in it that somebody can look through, then you might see some eyeballs in there. I wonder what he spotted. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? You're in front of these empty doors. Eyeless sockets, mostly uh, eyeless sockets are looking at you. I guess check to see if it's unlocked or capable of being opened. Is there a, a knob, a latch, a, a pulley, a chain? Uh, two large knockers on either side. But if you try and push the door, what knockers? I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, that was. On I my would mind think too. every single one person at this. I bet you even even already did the same thing. Two yeah. large knockers. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. There are two large knockers across these vast tracts of <laughs> land. <laughs> um, do they? <laughs> Do they look like anything, or are they just plain? Uh, these are plain. All right. Uh, so it looks like it's a pull or push door. Push. I will attempt to push. Do so. And as you push through the door, you hear the scratching, scratching noises much louder now, and it's the sounds of digging. Um, this is a well-lit room, and it's not just firelight, but looks like some magical lights are actually um, lighting the room up as well. Try to describe this as best as I can. You see four pillars and a walkway in between, as well as some room on the side there. The pillars themselves are bones stacked up from the ground all the way to the ceiling, uh, which at its highest is 30 feet up, uh, angled and slanted. The floor is smooth, bare, and as you enter into it, if you continue to walk in, 
you see several shipping crates on the opposite end of where you have opened up the door. Just a... To your right side is a courtroom. Smooth floors, there's actually a carpet along the floor in the center there. And if you walk in, you see a throne made of bones and skulls, a creature sitting on said throne. The walls in most directions are also lined again with skulls, skeletons, and you see several ghouls are working and digging and excavating. Where? On the opposite wall of where you are. So you've essentially come in on a side door into this throne room. The throne is on the opposite end of where you've come in. Across from where you came in are these shipping crates, very similar to what was on Hazel's Folly. Along that wall where those shipping crates are, are these ghouls who are meticulously digging with their hands uh, into the stone wall, making little alcoves, little shelves. Um, Bran, with you, you can see past the pillars. It looks like there's some finished ones where there's these rib cages barely loosely across them. Uh, uh, silver plaques along the bottom uh, and inside are bits and pieces. Uh, in one case you see a full body inside. There's a skeleton in another, a skull in another. And they're just kind of all lined up on display. And you see one of these ghouls finishes shoving in this rib cage, goes over to one of these crates uh, that's opened, removes uh, uh, some straw and sawdust and proceeds to pull out an arm desiccated reaches in again pulls out a paintbrush goes over sticks the arm puts the paintbrush in its hand closes the rib cage and then proceeds to start work on another, starting to engrave something in a silver plaque. So you said there was something in the throne? Yes. Or someone, Similar I should say? Similar to these creatures, there does, is a ghoul sitting does, on the throne. Does he look familiar at all? The ghoul? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. She it does doesn't not. appear to be that one that was up above on the street yipping about. It is not Upton. All right. I kind of look at everyone. I think we should probably speak with these. Agreed. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Bum, bum. Uh, is instantly taken out as one of the ghouls that you didn't see behind you rips off his head and he blah, and dies. Everyone roll a dread save and wait, what? <laughs> no. No, no, no. I refuse to this time. <laughs> what happened to Riley? Technical difficulties, everyone. The internet is not pleased with us. Everyone seems to be having see. a problem lately. Uh, Anja, roll a d6 for me. <laughs> Why? Six. Six. That's what I needed. Yeah, no. Uh, you go in to talk to the school. 
and you see that Ernie and Merrick have You mean Riley? Away. Riley and Merrick have turned away. It seems Riley has found something interesting out in the bone room. And he's gone. He's just, He'll be back shortly. I assume he can get back. Yeah. I mean, unless something really knocked his internet out. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's just you and me, Bran. You guys yeah. are dead. Oh, You're boy. very dead. <coughs> we have a lot of years of Yeah, our charisma game. character just disappeared. Mm-hmm. Oh. And... That's Gosh, okay. did I forget to mention the most important thing about this room yet again? Probably. Probably. What did you forget to mention? This bone, is, uh, this room is bone white. Oh, goody. Again. Uh, the carpet in the center. Uh, obviously, the bone rib cages. Everything about this room is white. You see where the ghouls are working. Uh, you see natural stone color. But where that ghoul had kind of finished that um, little shelf, the display case, uh, he takes some sort of powder from a bag at his side and throws it in there until every surface is coated with this white substance. Uh, Have we seen anything like that white substance before? Uh, Brand, give me a medicine check. Probably bone powder. It's bone powder. How am I not surprised? Jesus Christ. 22. It's bone powder. Who would have thought? Who would have thought a bunch of... Did you really need a 22 to figure that out? Well, he said what it was, and I, I let him say, yeah, that's it. And you start to hear a dry chuckle... And says, oh, we have guests. Please come in. I will enter in. Yes, I will enter in. And the two of you enter in? Yeah, yeah. And I would assume the others do as well. They're a little bit delayed and behind. Uh, (laughs) Riley has seemed to have noticed something that has distracted him yet again. But I'm sure he'll be fine. He's a big warlock. Um, I will stride forward and give a slight bow, you know, something respectable, but not keep, but not take my eyes off of him. Greetings. I am Bran. This is Anja. May we ask who we are speaking to? I'll stand next to him, by the way. I am Porphus Yogash. I am the leader of the Yogash clan. We have heard of you. We do not have many visitors down here. Tell me, what do you think of my room? It's very white. Very bone. It is good. Ah. I assume ah. this is the aesthetic you were looking for. I should hope so. I mean, if the entrance didn't, you know, give you the aesthetic I was looking for, then this room certainly should. And you see she is dipping something into this, again, bone white bowl and pulls out dripping of some sort of dark liquid and puts it into her mouth making a crunching sound. Does it look like blood? It's dark. It kind of looks like blood. I don't think I want to find that out, actually. I don't look at it. No. Branch is munching on a finger. Uh, actually, when she's munching, does it look like she's munching on a fresh finger? It does not look like a fresh finger. Okay. From what I understand, they like to munch on long dead things. Not- yeah. Fresh thing. Yeah, these are not these are not uh, these are not like our quarry, I don't think. Let me see. Because I like this image here. 
and I do wish to show it to you. Hard to see. Well, you're I can see it. Eyes. That's oh my god, that's her. That is her. Oh, she's awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, she's cool. I don't. Sorry if you can't see it well, but um, thank you, Anja. I've been working on my look for thousands of years. We have come down here in search of some residents from the town above. They were taken. And by all evidence, it appears they were taken by ghouls. Not my ghouls, darling. I don't think it is your ghouls. We don't like fresh meat after all. It's ugh, there's, some, there's something wrong. And ghouls attacked the local barracks and killed a number of people there. Some were dragged down below where we found gas. Do you know? Could you enlighten us on this at all? Yeah, do you know of anything? Is something happening to your pop, uh, to the population? My dear, we yoga schools have been here for many generations. These new ghouls that come, though, no respect for tradition. Or treaties. Who are these new ghouls? Eh, just newcomers to the island looking for a different life. They see what we have, but ah, they do not pay homage to me. Do you have you have you heard of a, a ghoul named Upton that is a recent arrival? Upton, Upton. Although he seemed more like you, more of I almost would say sophisticated rather than savage, which is the way I would describe these others. The ones who were taking people. <laughs> My dear, that is very rude for one. But if a ghoul is not being Savage, as you say. Well, then that is only leading to more suffering for you. I mean, I will say it is nice having these new fresh schools here. Oh, they help me expand my library. And I feel like there's something wrong. Like there's something wrong with the ghouls that are after fresh meat. I will say this, the townsfolk have taken notice and the actions of these ghouls that are not under your control, it seems, are putting the treaty that has been placed in effect in potential jeopardy. Unfortunately, all the ghouls are being grouped together. In interest of maintaining this treaty. Is there any possibility that you could help point us in the direction of where these new ghouls are staying? We are in search of a couple people that were taken. We are hoping they are alive. I would like, but even if they are not, we would like to retrieve their bodies and punish those that are responsible for these attacks. Anything you could... What is to punish? If the bodies are dead, they do not belong no. to the living anymore. Th they're taking the living and killing them. That is the problem. Hmm? We've seen signs. We've seen it happen. <sighs> That's what I mean. It's, it's not... That is foul and disgusting. Yeah, exactly. That's what the I mean bodies. by... What? Should be allowed to sit and dry out and cure a little bit. But that's what I mean. I think something's wrong. Something's happened to some of the ghouls. That they're going after fresh meat. They're killing people rather than taking corpses like normal. Sorry if the words are not quite right. 
I'm very new to all this. Hmm. You can help educate me, that's for sure. My dear, I am a ruler. I have no interest in educating you. However, I give you a piece of my library if you wish. And she points to the shelves with the uh, bones in it. He may not be here right now, but I can just friggin' tell Riley is like... <gasps> yes, uh, Brand does not seem impressed by this at all. Yeah, Brand, go ahead. Good thing he wears a mask, you know? He's kind of yeah. like... His, his hands are hidden. Yeah. And I'll say, uh, Bran, with your perception, as you were walking up, if you were interested in reading any of the plaques, mm -hmm. you could certainly get a few. Uh, you see several small ones uh, labeled the plaque is the Udu tribe. Udu uh, tribe, huh? Yucatan Alwigi. Uh, a General Morgan Bergemeyer. The arm that was recently placed in was uh, uh, Talisa Barcini. <laughs> oh, historical figures. And Reaper Averis Nashala. <laughs> one was that <laughs> that was your uh, way of the mercy no, no 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 i just I'm, I'm wondering which piece that is like what's in it oh what's in that one uh that one uh holds a pair of hands i will stare at that one for a moment The new ghouls are useful for something, for while they do not pay me homage and listen to my leadership, they do bring gifts. So kind of them. Delicacies from across the lands. I got tired of the goblins quite quickly. There was only one of them that was truly interesting. Uh, did you say goblins? Goblins, yes. Where did these goblins come from? From here. I have not seen a goblin on this island yet. And you never will, unless you're looking for their bones and their corpses. You probably saw a few of them outside. I kind of look back out there. They look back at her. <laughs> Seems you go through your meals quite heavily. Well, I do have an entire family to feed. I assume you've been here for a while, too. Yes, quite a long time. Sorry, can I ask one question here? So what's her title and her name again? She is Porphos, P-O-R-P-H-O-S. P-O-R-P-H- P-O-R- Yep. E H O S. P H O S. Okay. Yogash. Y O G A S H. Does she have a title? She did not give you a title. Okay. But she is the leader of the Yogash clan. Let me see here. Yeah, that's the problem with papers being all about. That's fine. The leader of the clan is fine. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I know what her title is. I just don't remember. Uh, or she just never gave it to you. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I won't add it in the notes. I'm just getting a few notes here. Oh, that's the other thing. Ernie's going to be so sad. This is an info drop. <laughs> well that you know uh depending on what his answer he is happy to sample from the uh the library as well now what is i guess i should ask 
meaning sample do you mean take or just read or what? There are, again, <laughs> from what you know of ghouls, I believe either Anja or Riley knew this, um, but they can. They can gain memory from what they eat. I know. Memory yeah. from eating dead flesh. Yeah. And they find it a delicacy to eat certain figures who have led uh, very abundant lives and get even more memory from that. So one would say that if you are to read from her library, you're taking a nibble of something. Yeah. Your offer is most generous, but we would not be able to comprehend as you do. So it's probably a bad idea. I kind of I look at Bran side eye and I kind of say very quietly, you know, it might not be. Hopefully, Riley's not really paying attention. You know, maybe it's a bad idea to let him and his tablet go in that library. I don't think his tablet will be absorbing the flesh of the victims. Well, that could be, but if there's what? writing on the pages. There are no pages. There are no pages. If there's any writing, any oh, so there's no writing anywhere. Mm -hmm. The by library they mean the literally. Yeah. It's a larder. The legs, the feet. Yeah. It's a larder. That's too. Again, the only thing we seek is to deal with whoever is causing these disruptions and potentially causing a threat to the treaty. I would assume that you wish to keep the status quo as it is. It seems like you have a pretty good deal here. Indeed I do, but again, the treaty is not broken. Not by you, but by someone. They have not signed any sort of treaty. The Yogash clan has honored the treaty for as long as it can. So you have no quorums with what we do to them then? Oh, I should say not. If they're killing people and storing them, well, that's more meat in the family for me, isn't it? Sure. So you may not condemn what they're doing, but you are benefiting from what they're doing, you're saying. Isn't that the way the world works? It's not like the gods interfere with anything. Then I believe our conversation is done. We will deal with this as we see fit. I just kind of give a look at Bran. And I look back at Porphos. Yes, I think this conversation is done. Besides, I have to oversee some new acquirements anyway. Enjoy your meals. <laughs> I hope you don't choke on them. Hey. <laughs> and then I will walk out. Don't mind him. You know how Would those... you at least stay for this last acquirement? It's a special one. And I think you'd enjoy it as much as I do. I hesitantly stop, but I get the feeling. Yeah. Um, sure. I, I stop and I turn. What's so special about it? I'm and like from a... behind her throne, behind the wall. I'm almost afraid. These two minotaur skeletons come out of the wall. Follow me. And she leads you back towards the entrance with either of these minotaur skeletons in front. And she walks until she's standing in front of one of these alcoves. And the ghoul is just finishing it by installing a 
chain bolted onto the back of the wall. It is uh, a human sized. I have acquired this uh, from, oh my goodness. Where do I put my notes? I have achieved this from uh, Chavesque. I believe uh, that's where the temple of the uh, the dead queen, um, the Raven Queen. Yes, that's right. That's the useless twat who lives there. <clears throat> if we are going to be civil to you, you can at least be civil to him. Hmm? Oh, I am being civil. No. Show some respect to his god. They deserve no respect. They're all the same one way or another. Do you want us to have that view of you? What is it you wish to show us? Bring her out, please. And from a standing box next to it, you see these two ghouls pry off while a third ghoul holds what looks like a dog catcher with a noose. And they pry out from the box and this ghoul reaches in and appears to hook something on there that continues to kind of jerk and move. And they swing open the door and this undead woman um is being dragged out by the neck. What's Snarling, in this case, is just trying to lunge out in there. Oh, <laughs> it's a live one. Oh. Normally, I prefer not to keep the walking meals, you know, from yeah, making too much noise, but she is too special, aren't you? And the ghoul goes and shoves it into the thing. Another ghoul goes and puts a latch around uh, its neck. Do we know what type of undead it is? Uh, it just appears to be zombified. So it's a zombie. It is a zombie. Why is she Whether it has any special. Uh, Why no. is she special? Give me a religion check. Bran, you don't mm -hmm. have to. I don't really freaking even have religion here. Oh, yeah, this will be. Actually, I rolled well. Uh, 17. 17. Yeah. Uh, that's good. She has the garb of someone who belongs to uh, uh, the clergy of the Raven Queen. Fuck. And mm, well, what'd you roll again one more time? 17? 17. 17. Yeah. And you can look down because there is a plaque below where she is standing. And as they kind of close uh, this extremely large rib cage around to kind of keep her in there, it reads Saint Eve. And that name springs was oh. she once the head of the church of the raven queen she had supposedly um, saved uh, the kingdom from a, 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 a huge undead attack orchestrated by a cult of orcus many years back, but she's since disappeared from the limelight. She, maybe she died. That's why she's here now. Uh, Bran. I'm just looking at Bran going, <laughs> what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Bran, it seems wrong to me, too. The rumors were that, you know, she didn't come unscathed from this battle 
against the cult of Orcus and the undead, and she has not been seen by her church since, but has still ruled the church. I believe you are seeing your way out, Dias. Or do we have to throw you out now? I will step up to St. Eve. She still wears the robes. Still wears the robes. Is she wearing a, a pendant or a symbol of the Raven Queen? She is. Uh, is she restrained? Uh, she is restrained and contained. So she has her neck is currently bound. She's uh, uh, World War Z, where the zombies are yep. just kind of. Yeah, she's doing that. I will reach out and touch her pendant of the Raven Queen Mm -hmm. and just quietly mutter to myself, how would you like me to deal with this? I think... What happens next is answer all of itself. Did you say you were reaching in there? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. As long as it looks like it's safe and restrained. It is only restrained by the neck. So her arms aren't restrained or anything? Her arms are not restrained. Does she have claws or just hands? Mm, Hands. That's fine. I will do it then. I will keep my hands away from her mouth. Sure. Uh, With a natural 20. She swings her arms down at you. Doing nine points of bludgeoning damage. As she beats your hand away from where her neck is. And there is what was Saint Eve is no longer there. Does she look like just a normal zombie? Like a normal zombie. I mean, very well kept. Mm -hmm. I will strike multiple times if necessary. Go ahead. You have it. And I will I will do it gently though. I will do it as gentle damage. Sure. Gentle damage. Yeah. (laughs) Do you need I'm like standing there. I got 17 for the first one. I got my hands. My hands are going for the hilts of my blades, but I'm not drawing them. Six bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then the second attack, ugh, it's only a seven. I don't know if that's going to hit or not. That's oh, uh, actually, she's restrained, right? She's restrained. You have advantage. So 19 then. Nice. Four, five bludgeoning damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, does she seem gone or still going? She's still going. Then I will... And the room action. around you are all starting to draw blades, but you see Yoga or uh, Porphos holding her hand up. Yeah, uh, dirty 20 mm-hmm. or four points. I'm going to put myself between them and him. Mm-hmm. And then the mm-hmm. last one. But I'm not uh, drawing. Uh, oh, God. Uh, 12 to hit. Does that hit? That'll hit. Four. Uh, five more damage. And it slumps to the floor. Were you just trying to get the holy symbol off of her? I was putting her at rest. And then I will take the pendant from her. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do so, tearing it away from... Uh, I will do it gently, like pulling it over her head. 
bound neck chain. Okay, I'm detaching it then. You know, I'm assuming there's a hook then. With the way it is, it's these rib cages, and you've just been kind of striking your arm out as she's been restrained. So it's not like you can actually go in there and reach. Very well. I will take it off of her in whatever fashion I have to. Okay. So is she actually dead dead now? She is now dead dead. Okay. And nobody tried to stop him. Interesting. No, but Porphus uh, uh, is just smiling to herself as she is watching you do this. You are on your way, were you not? Yes. I'm sure you will be too soon enough. And then I will begin heading out. I just before I like you it. go, it would be rude. And she pulls from her sleeve and approaches you. And in her hands, uh, she holds what looks to be a rolled up piece of skin bound like a scroll but written on flesh and it is a fish skin actually your friend Anjo was right and I was quite rude an offering I will take it Slowly. I will also take it with the other hand. Kind of like placing my hand on top of hers for a moment. Mm -hmm. Just staring at her through my mask. Then I will slowly take it from her hand. Thank you. You may find it useful. You may not. What is it? Read it and find out. Now, get out of here. You are boring me. I will tuck it away. What do you want? What do you find exciting? In case I ever come back this way again. I'm sure the display I just did, she found exciting. We should go, Anja. It's fine. It's just a question. I find your deaths. And all deaths exciting. Koska. And immediately, one of the minotaurs starts approaching you and gets ready to take a swing at you. If you do not run out this door, we are going to start an initiative. I'm just going to walk. I'm going to just walk. And Bran? We'll leave. But as I get to the door, I will look back at her and give her a hard stare. Since I can probably get to the door and have a moment before the Minotaur gets over there. Oh, yeah. He's probably closer to the door than I am. As soon as she said Koska, she turned around and she is ripping a strip of flesh from St. Eve's face. Don't look at that. And getting ready to put it into her mouth. Uh, don't look at that. And uh, since you have decided to do that for me, and of course, your actions. I would like a dread save from you. Both of us, or just him? Just from him. <laughs> I'm not real shocked about. I this. rolled in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. What's two? Is that two failures? Two more. That'll oh put me at five. shit! Give me another. Dread saving throw. Come on, Bran. Of course, join the insanity train. Come on. 13. <sighs> does, that make, does that make it? It does not. What? I thought it was 13. It, do me a favor. Uh, Shit. Ooh. Well, welcome to the club. Mm. 
I kind of want to pick it for you, but I also, you know, like that random rolling thing. So go ahead. Well, I will leave it up to you. All right. All you want right. me to random roll? That's fine. You can choose between the two, whatever. D100. Four. Oh. D20. Fourteen. Another D20. Two. Would you not to look at that? Okay. At the sight of this brand, whatever hard stare you are going to give to her, you turn and run. Oh, shit. As this image is not something you could bear to watch anymore. Shit. You can choose... <coughs> The way you came in or the way ahead? I will choose the way ahead. I feel more determined than I have to end this in potentially much more violent ways than I originally uh, wanted. Which is very fitting. Okay. Okay. You continue on your way forward, Anja following Merrick, stumbling along through the bones, Riley strangely keeping to himself. Maybe not strangely, but... It's Riley. It is Riley. Yeah. Apparently is not going to make it back. It does not appear that he is going to make it back, and so I'll have to ask him quite a few questions here. In the you're, also gonna give it, you're also going to have to give him quite a bit of information. <laughs> nah, maybe he's watching on Twitch and telling us what he wants to do, uh, which is why I turned that on and why there's now an ad going on in the background. Uh, you continue up. Uh, he's not there. Continuing on your way through. And yeah. Brand, there is just anger burning maybe it's embarrassment for fleeing or for leaving saint eve to that monster um but you develop i mean which is probably already there but now let's make it an irrational hatred for ghouls <laughs> oh shit that's yeah, that's not I find good. that appropriate. That's what I thought. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, oh, wait, no. Wait, this side? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, this side, yeah. Sorry, that's in uh, Merrick's spot. Oh, oh, and that's in Riley's spot. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. What are you I'm doing? Twitch. If you look don't at Twitch, it. yeah. It's you can screw. see his hands in the other spots. Mm -hmm. It's more of me, and I, I'm always happy. I was going to say, you couldn't fix the locations and put black in the other two spots. Now, could you, Frank? No, no, no. He's it's okay. At least we look okay. I may not be in the right spot, but so be it. I always look okay. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna two-man this, people. Oh, yeah. Uh, you continue north. Yeah, and as you kind of slow down from that... Um, yeah, this fire just burns in you. And Rahan, are you okay? I stay quiet and I just keep going. I'm probably even outpacing people at this rate. Sure. Bran. And you go from this large room that had the bones on it, it eventually goes down to level floor again. Go north and you find yourself in another large room. However, this one is not quite as lit and there are pillars around every corner probably just another place for one of those ghouls to hide and jump down at you and 
terrible things they are. I keep going. I'm looking for the trail, but I'm almost looking for evidence of ghouls and where they might be. Yeah. Yeah, you manage to work your way ahead. You're looking down and this burning pain uh, uh, in your head, in the back of your eye socket, really, is a bit distracting as you're looking down. And this is this throbbing pain. Huh. Riley apparently just rolled something on uh, roll 20. Good. Uh-huh. He's dead to me. Does <laughs> something pop up? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, last thing I see is yours, so. Yeah, by the way, Brand, can you give me a constitution saving throw, please? Oh, that that's fantastic. Just what I wanted to hear. Yep, nope, my rolls continue on to the streak they've been. Eight. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, there is just this throbbing mm-hmm. pain uh, uh, behind your eye sockets. Better be getting free feet does he? This. Does he look... Do I see anything? You see him just kind of bolting and outpacing you and walking away. Uh, You follow him outside of this room of bones uh, and you two end up turning into this large cavern um, almost as large as the bone room itself uh, where the carpet of bones were as opposed to the, the white room, the white royal room. And they're just pillars, the lactites lactites, reaching down, meeting each other, the water dripping. Um, And he just kind of takes and disappears into these pillars for a bit. I can keep following him though, right? I'll freaking run if I have to. I mean, hopefully the other two can keep up. Yeah. Brand, do you want to do anything with that information I've given you? The pain in my head, you mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I could probably take a wild guess what it might be. At this point, I don't care. Uh, I kind of hope I'll just get free feats out of it at this rate. Uh, <laughs> uh, I My goals are either to find the victims we are after or a ghoul. And or, I should say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead and give me a survival roll. This is going to be the nat 20. I know it. I can tell. 12. 12? Uh, Not bad. Uh, There's a point where you're just kind of looking around, looking around for claw marks. And... um, it's just not enough light for you in this situation. Um, Am I right or no? I think it's more than that. But hey, it's more than that, you, but that's the one you're going for? Uh, well, based on what you're saying, I, I think that's appropriate, sadly. Okay. Oh, Lord, what in the hell? I mean, if you wanted to go with the other one, let me know. No, nope, this is fine. Okay. Um, yeah, it's too dark to actually tell the tracks very clearly, and you realize that you're... Uh, hood lantern hasn't been on this entire time 
as you weave through and out of this darkness. And as strange as that is, that irrational desire to find a ghoul and beat it to a bloody pulp, you just take out the hooded lantern, light it up, and Anja, with that light turning on, you have a clear beacon to where um, Bran is at. And so without even needing to track him, you just kind of head towards that light. Yep. Bran, with that light now, you can see the tracks, and they do indeed go through this room. Continue on. Mm-hmm. Brand, I try to catch up. Are you okay? I Damn don't it. answer. You asked me the same thing. I think Just I have a right on. to know. Hey, I have a right to know. I'm going to try to get up and stand in front of him. I will run if I have to. Is that a yes? I don't go faster because I, I don't just, know what she's doing per se. I'm just going to get in front of you and like stop. We're going. But are you need to tell me if you're okay. Or are you going to put all of us at I risk? I will look at her for a moment. Like you thought I was going to. We need to get this done. Yeah, I know. At this point, risk is no longer no an issue. Risk is an issue. If, if you're we leave putting... you down here any longer, you're dead. If we leave them down here any longer, they're more dead than they already I'm... potentially are. I know, but we still need to be careful on how we proceed. If you're not At okay... This rate, if I find any of them... Won't matter how careful we are. I, oh, I know. I know. Oh, I need to get out of here. I need Why to finish you... this. I was fucking straight with you. It's okay not to be okay. Just friggin' let us know. You want to know things? I want to know if you're okay. No, I'm not. Okay, then. That's all. Neither one of us are okay. I'm sure none of us are. Oh, I think they're okay. Have you seen Riley? Okay, Riley, I'm going to drop my voice so Riley doesn't hear this part. Yeah, you're probably right. We leave Merrick down here much longer. He's probably not going to be okay either. Well, we need to, but you're right. We need to get this done because I need. I've been playing too help. cautious. We have spent too much time down here. We need to finish this now. Let's go. But don't run ahead. The way we've been going. Fine. I'll let you take weed like we've been doing. But please be stealthy. Very well. I will be. And I will attempt to stealth. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to back total. up. Oh my God. My what rolls are fuck? really bad today. What Everything's the bad. Fuck? I guess. Ugh. Yeah, you guys continue walking through this room. Um, The air gets warmer. You hear water dripping down. You start to hear that gurgle sound getting louder and louder. And there's at this point where you get to the wall. And on the other side of this wall is where all this sound is coming from. And it's these stalagmites and stalactites reaching down kind of blocking a real good view of it, but you see this moving river along the ground and it's a large room. There's statues in it. (coughs) 
and you kind of start to stealth your way um, through this fence, looking for an opening large enough to get through. Um, maybe it's out of habit, Bran. Um, the hood lantern is bright light shining your way and you see an opening and you turn this corner and there is this muddy boiling river of sludge it's mud it's hot mud and these little bubbles are popping out of it every once in a while that and that kind of flowing sound that you've heard before uh, and across this river of mud large cavern and on the wall that you've kind of gotten a glimpse of here and there you see work stone a wall maybe like the outside of the building and it is decorated with these carved eyes, some of them pupilless, some of them staring in random directions, some cat's eyes, some like a goat, others are just too alien. Some of them shine iridescent pale in your hooded lantern. One has a shining gun. <laughs> Shh. Uh, D, if you are listening to this episode, uh, note that down. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> but as these pools of superheated mud, uh, and there are these just countless protrusions and a temple door, probably. Hundreds, thousands of these eyeballs are against this this wall, this building. And you see another large doors at the top of it, also carved in stone. Bran, Anja. Yep. Perhaps it comes as no surprise when on top of these steps is the most massive ghast you have ever seen. Oh, fuck. It's empty brain cavity that you've seen on gas. So, but wait, is, these, this, is this in front of the temple door? This is in front of the temple door. Standing on its hind legs uh, like a crown around its empty uh, a skull pan juts pieces of bone into this huge antler-like crown upon its head. And it turns and just bellows in your direction as these other gas come out of the shadow and cross through the mud. And that is where we will end the show tonight. How many gas? A few. Out of the shadows. Thousands. Who knows? All I know is the other two better be here next week. Too. Uh, wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait, uh, not next, next week, week. guys. Four uh, weeks, uh, the right? next cred is not well. It's supposed to be on Thanksgiving. We don't roll like that. So in one month from now, we'll God. come back to this story where Bran is something wrong is happening to him. Uh, multiple layers. Something wrong with me wrong too. With everybody else, and uh, I will take this time to pleasantly uh, have a conversation with. Uh, Riley and Merrick and see kind of what their reactions and what they were doing while no one was paying attention to them. 
Oh, I'm sure oh, wow. I was, but they're not exactly here to pay attention to. So. so guys, have a happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all the uh, veterans out there. You have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, may your turkey have as many tentacles as mine will. What? And, uh, <laughs> will wave to you all and say good night. Good night. Good night.